Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a really cool five horse Cimarron sitting behind me. This is a custom order, so unfortunately this trailer is not available, but we really wanted to show you this trailer just because of the cool options and how this customer set them up. If you watch our videos, and especially the ones that I do, I tell them, I say all the time, Cimarrons are like fingerprints. I mean, they truly are unique. You can customize them how you want them. Uh, this customer wanted to sit down, build something specific in a five horse. Uh, we bounce ideas off of, off of them. They do the same to us and then end up collaborating and getting this really nice trailer at the end here for them. So this is a 2024 Cimarron North Star five horse gooseneck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing because I want to show you some specs on it and how the trailer is laid out because it is very unique. So five horse front tack room on it. This is a reverse reverse load. So they're going to uh, actually load from driver's side. We'll explain that when we get over to the stall area. Rear tack on it. It's seven six wide, so a little bit wider than, than our standard 610. And we're a little bit taller, seven four versus seven one. Floor length on this trailer is a very maneuverable trailer around, um, but a really cool, unique setup that we're going to look at here. So let's walk through it. A lot of stuff I'm going to throw at you, so just kind of bear with us. Uh, very first thing, if we look at the nose of this trailer, customer opted for the white sheeting versus the stainless. Uh, it's just a personal preference that some customers want. Three marker lights on the nose there. That is now standard on the 24 models moving forward. Uh, we were adding a lot of those to some trailers, especially our big living quarters, uh, trainer trailers, those, those custom trailers, just gave us a good look and Cimarron just decided, hey, let's go ahead and make that standard. <clears throat> so if we look under the neck here, very first thing you're going to notice is electric over hydraulic jack, single leg, push button from right up here over on driver's side, so as you're backing up. If you're guiding somebody back, it's real easy to just reach up here when they get in a position. They can stay in the truck with their foot on the brake. I know, you know, trucks rock if you don't put them in the, uh, if you actually don't engage the actual parking brake on it. So it's real easy to just reach up here. This is great too if you've got some maybe younger kids that are traveling with you as well. Um, you know, they can be guiding you back and instead of hand cranking, you can literally sit in the, in the seat and they can push this button and up down the trailer goes. With this setup, you do have a manual override as well. We love this system for that. Uh, we had a customer the other day that just had a, honestly ended up with a bad battery. They've owned the trailer for a few years. Um, they replaced it. Uh, after about a month, the battery went bad on them. It does happen. So they called, hey, how do we get this? We got to get to this event. What do we do? We'll figure out the battery later. We walked them through the, the hand pump. We actually have uh, some videos on how to that are really kind of short two, three minutes on how to operate <coughs> these type of setups. But in that instance, we helped them out. They got to their event, then they can figure out the battery later. So you're gonna get your battery, aluminum battery box. What's also cool is we used to add this, this battery disconnect to all of our trailers and then Cimarron made it standard. So when we go to park this trailer, I'll show you, we've got lights on right now uh, but we're actually drawing power from this battery right now. So if we accidentally leave something on, that's where you'll come to this trailer and have a dead battery. Then you have to figure out either getting power to it or doing the manual override to get it on the truck. So when you're done with this trailer, the last thing you do before you walk away is just turn it to off and it'll kill all power to the trailer. So again, in an instance where we accidentally leave something on, we're not draining that battery. Spare tire located to the left of that. It's get, aluminum wheels are standard on these. You're getting that uh, same aluminum wheel. It's not four on the ground and then a steel. So spare tire, you know, underneath here, you have that extra room. You'll notice on some of our uh, standard width trailers, this is elevated a little bit and that's because this takes a bigger footprint. <clears throat> but on these wider trailers, it can still be down low here. So white sheeting, that's standard. You, uh, silver metallic, charcoal metallic, black, those are the more popular options. There is an upcharge to them. You can do some custom colors as well. Recently, we've done a Pepsi blue, a red. I've seen green, you can do polish. You can do a lot of different colors. You can paint top rails, bottom rails, door frames. A lot of customization can go into these trailers. Now, front tack room on this. Uh, door is gonna be accessed over here on passenger side. As you can see, fold up step making it a nice, easy transition. Since this trailer is seven, six wide, 
you know, on your seven, six wide, eight foot, you either have no running board, minimal running board, so it's a little bit uh, smaller step, and it's even higher than that. So that's why we like those fold up steps when you're coming into these tack rooms, uh, making it easy to get in and out. So in this front tack room here, <coughs> there is actually, if you kind of just glance at it, you might go, boy, it's just kind of a plain tack room, but that's not the case actually. So as you can see with it being seven, six wide, this goosenecker is massive. You can throw a mattress up here, bed rolls, sleeping bags, whatever you want. Cimarron's noses are deeper. They're 8.2 versus a lot of competitors that are 7.6, 7.8. But then you widen it and lengthen it with these. Ton of room in here. You're going to notice over here to the left, there's a breaker box. So there's a converter to power up. Um, a shelf with a clothes rod over here on the short wall. There's a lip so you can throw some items up there. Hang some clothes. They're not taking up space in, in the actual truck. Maybe you're in that event and you need to just hop in here and change clothes. You can have them right here for you. But this power package up here is because we have an air conditioner on this. So framework, air conditioner. Framework is standard on these trailers, whether you have the air conditioner or not. So you can add it after the fact really easy. <coughs> but in this instance here, she wanted the air conditioner. So it's a 13.5 BTU uh, air conditioner. This size of space, it'll, it'll probably freeze you out. Um, we'll talk about the insulated roof here in a bit. But she went in, she's got some outlets in here, charge up a phone, you know, do something on a computer, anything like that. So you've got some power in here. You have a boot box, 12 inch boot box, runs all the way across, throw smaller miscellaneous items, use it as a bench if you need to, hop up in the gooseneck area. Uh, you know, just a, a well option front tack. But again, if you look at it, you might go, oh, there's not a lot there, but there truly is. And then there's kind of just a blank canvas. If she ever wanted to go do something else on this backside, she could, um, you know, maybe add some shelving in the cabinet in the back corner, whatever she wants, corner water tank, any of those type of items can be done after the fact. <laughs> so on this one, being seven, six wide, she opted not to have the running board on the side there. So um, normally on these seven, six, you'll have a running board that somewhat matches our wheel well, the length. But this is actually a good look, and we've done this on quite a few seven, six wide trailers. I think it looks sharp. Uh, it's more of a personal preference. We like the fold up steps anyway, getting in and out of tack rooms, which this one does have. LED button lights on the top rail, that's now standard. Really nice, uh, just source of light. Puts out a good, pow uh, a, a good light amount. Not a big power draw because they're LED, and you're gonna have some 16 inch awning lights on the outside of this trailer to give that light coverage when you're out here, maybe tacking up, have horses tied up. Now, what we're looking at is we're looking at the drops. <coughs> like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a reverse reverse load as we like to call it. So we'll show you when we get to the other side, but this is gonna be horse number one, two, three, four, five, and how you're actually gonna load them. But as you can see, big massive drop windows on the head side, jail bars as well. This is all framework. That's the beauty about Cimarron's. These doors, drop windows are big and stout. They're not prefab. They've got some framework to them. So it's not like a piece of paper in your hand. You're gonna be opening and closing these windows almost every time you use this trailer. So we need them to hold up. You have your bus window within them. So you can just, if you, if you wanna run with them closed, you can, uh, and then slide these open about half that window open. So you get some ventilation there. Think about this as you're driving, our horses' heads are here. This is now curbside, so they're away from traffic <coughs> for the most part if you're in the right-hand lane. So they're not having traffic going by their heads in this instance here. So we'll talk a little bit more about that load when we get to the inside of it. Um, you, you will have an escape door. That's stall number one. So this drop window is gonna be a little bit smaller because we have the framework within the door. But again, you've got that escape door. If you need to access anything, chest bar that goes across that opening as well. The cool thing is about all these drop windows, tack doors, escape door, everything has the exact same key. So everything can be locked up with one single key. Uh, that way you don't have to go dig and fight with multiple. It's really easy to just have one key for this entire trailer. I said, this is a unique trailer. So here at the back, as you can see, we have a 
full width rear tack. So really cool setup. <coughs> because of the way the load is, and at the back of this trailer, this trailer is even more, it, it's safer for the horses. Because listen, if somebody rear ends you, you have this protecting those horses. You know, we don't have a horse, you know, literally in this load here, we don't have their head right here or in more of a traditional slant load, um, you know, butts right here. So this one here, you have all this to kind of protect it. But here at the back, a lot of cool stuff going on within it. We have a swing out saddle rack here on the right hand side as you're looking at it three tier pads, these are adjustable. So I can slide these up and down if I want. There's a secondary recess post on the partition wall, three more saddle racks, couple blanket poles. If I wanted to move these to this one, I could. So you have a lot of flexibility within this, this rear tack and how it's set up. And again, with the swing out, it's right here. Again, more steps at the back for you. So it's easy getting in and out, but then it swings in. And if we look at that left-hand door, same thing, we've got more blanket poles. This is on a gas shock, swings out. There's six of them on this. So she's got six here, two in there. So a total of eight, six saddle racks within it. Um, so again, you can carry a lot of tack and there's a lot of floor space, even when we throw these type of, you know, when we start filling up this back tack. Carpeted wall, just to kind of protect everything. We've got some bridle hooks behind that saddle rack. We've got more bridle hooks over here on the left hand wall. Corner water tank 25 gallon. You could move that to the front tack. You could leave it back here. Um, it's nice because you can carry water on board with you. Whether you're at an event and the hydrant's a long ways away, we don't have to pack buckets. We can fill up right here. Traveling in summer months, traffic, you might get stopped, maybe need some water. Um, or you just have a horse that likes water from home. You can carry 25 gallons right there. And then we can toss some ropes on these guys here. Again, just more organization from the standpoint of being able to just have places where items live instead of just throwing stuff on the floor. There's a lot of organization within this and there's still a lot of stuff that can be done. A couple LED lights in the ceiling. This is a little bit different setup than we've done in the past. We used to use these uh, kind of load lights on the inside. So they'd kind of shoot down and out, but they'd kind of hit this partition wall. We didn't get a lot of light coverage, you know, kind of on the lower half of this. So these are actually our LED lights that we use for the front tack room, stall area, the Optibrites, and they've been uh, mounting them actually in the ceiling. So we get a lot better light coverage within this entire rear tack. A couple brush trays for you as well. So you can throw some miscellaneous items within that. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this just so you can see, cause I want you to, I'm gonna show you another feature. So in this instance here, you're gonna shut your left hand door first cause it's got an internal two point latch on it. That's actually gonna go ahead and, and secure it. And then I'll shut the right hand door over it. Our light switches are here at the back. So it's all controlled right there. But this feature right here, backup lights. This is something that we've been adding to these trailers, uh, a lot of our inventory, and it's a lot of customers are buying into it as well. If we think about where our pickup is and those reverse lights versus where these are, this is 27 foot on the floor. So our truck is actually gonna be more like, you know, 30 foot away, something like that, where those backup lights are. We're gonna be getting into places where we need to go ahead and have some lights, You're unfamiliar, get home, and dark, you want some light. When now when we throw this in reverse, these are actually gonna light up. Some manufacturers will put a very small backup light within their tail lights. To me, it's just an indicator. It's almost like when you just put it in reverse, this little guy here will just light up. That's just telling people like, hey, I'm in reverse, where these are gonna give you some light coverage. So definitely an upgrade there and something that's become extremely popular that we're doing a lot of trailers. <clears throat> So when we get around the corner, we have a bolt-on ladder that's gonna go up to that roof. And ahead of that is gonna be that sheeted hay rack up there. It's a slick look to it. Um, you can actually, it's, it's shifted more forward so we can kind of get to those axles on where that weight's gonna be. But you can also have a little bit of a deck behind it. Now there's not an actual deck up there, 
but it's Cimarron's roof. So we're gonna talk about how stout that roof is when we get to the inside here. Um, but you've got a place to be able to stand up there, maybe load hay, unload hay, fill up uh, hay bags, toss them down, whatever you need to there. Bus windows on hip side, nice big bus windows. I give Cimarron a lot of credit because if you think only half of this is gonna open, like I mentioned on those drop windows, so we need to maximize airflow. That's what you get when you get these bigger windows is a lot more airflow within it. <clears throat> so we have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion, Dexter axles, electric brakes, 16 inch aluminum wheels, upgraded to a 14 ply tire, so a lot heavier duty tire. These are also nitrogen filled. That's what that green tab means. They're not gonna fluctuate PSI levels with temperatures like air will. There's a misconception out there, you can't put air to these. You can, totally fine. We're just not getting the benefits of nitrogen. But if we're having to put air to these, we have something going on, slow leak, maybe a valve, maybe we have you know, a nail in it, something along those lines. If that is the case, you go get it fixed. If it can be patched, you're in business. A lot of tire just distribution facilities are doing the nitrogen, maybe they could fill you back up. Um, if we happen to have something that can't be patched, you have a blowout, you catch road debris, Lions had the vendor that Cimarron uses for wheels and tires will stand behind those tires for one year, no questions asked. They will replace it for you. Five years on the rims, so again, standing behind the product. Cimarron is an eight-year structure warranty, three-year hardware warranty. So again, you're getting a ton of warranty on this trailer right from the get-go. <laughs> so this is where this trailer becomes very unique. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff I already showed you, but check this out. So this is a reverse reverse load. We've built a lot of trailers like this. Um, it is it is a it is a in our opinion a, a safe ride for the horses. <laughs> Again, we're getting their heads away from traffic over here on street side. Heads are over there on curb side. If you think about it, we don't drag race these trailers. So horses really aren't going to be thrown to the back of the trailer in most instances. So what is the most common thing that's probably going to happen? You're going to have to slam on the brake. Somebody cuts you off, you know, maybe uh, approaching an accident, something along those lines. So you're going to break, break abruptly. Well, those horses are going to be thrown forward. Now, our horses' hips and butts are farther ahead than their actual shoulder and their head. Well, a lot of these horses naturally just want to gather themselves up, get underneath themselves, so they can brace themselves a little bit better. And again, their butt and hip are gonna go into the wall first. Um, so that's why we like this load. A lot of people that start pulling it and using it, we hear it a lot. They'll say, boy, I'm never gonna have that load, you know, a different load ever again. I, I really like the way the horses ride on this um, from that instance. So that's what you get. So in this instance here, we have two big doors that open up, big wide ramp. And then as you can see, we've got a couple butt bars here. So when you are loading and unloading, when you drop everything, they're out of the way. This divider here, if you look at this opening, because of that door opening, this is still a very wide opening that we have when we're starting to bring other horses out of this trailer. But if I want a little bit more space, this divider breaks over, just creating a little bit more. So as they go to back out, you can kind of get their shoulders turned, come off that ramp, making that transition ends very, very easy. So that breaks over there at these stalls four and five. The next divider, she wanted this big stud divider and full divider with air flows in this one here. So this guy here, this is a big opening. Look, if she ever wanted to make some box stalls, this almost works like a center cut gate. I mean, you could take some dividers out ahead or behind it and have some big box stalls if you ever need to. Solid dividers within it, radius. So everything's nice and smooth, um, just keeping horses protected. And then at stall one is going to be a stud divider. So again, we've got another stud divider in here. These are solid. If you wanted to add divider pads, that could be done. Uh, maybe you just want to haul some other items in this first stall, you could do that, not have to worry about things getting underneath horses. Throw some bedding, throw some feed, anything like that. Buckets, your cooler, you can access your cooler from right here if you're traveling. Uh, stop to fuel up, grab a cold drink, and keep moving. 
kick mats all the way around. With it being seven six wide, you're gonna have a little bit of wheel well on each side. <laughs> Cimarron tapers the corners so we don't have 90 degree angles there. And then they taper up. No, no 90 degree angles. Nothing protruding out from the wall, recessed paddle latches. This is a, a cast aluminum piece that's powder coated. And then we have a heavy UHMW paddle latch. We don't have metal to metal contact with these dividers. Metal to metal will rattle and create a lot of noise. So a lot quieter, a lot safer ride for the horses. Loading and unloading, it's safer for you and them. It's just a slam latch, really easy to use. Five two-way roof vents. So again, we can create airflow, manipulate airflow within this trailer by having those. There's that insulated roof that I was, ta that I was talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. These roofs are stout. And when I mean stout, they're a half inch thick honeycomb design. They will take 150 pounds per square foot. So if you're up on that roof, I don't necessarily have to find roof bows on where to stand. They'll take substantial hail. More importantly, in my opinion, what it does for stall temperature. It keeps it a lot cooler, especially in these summer months. We get a 9,500 plus, it can get real hot. So this aluminum roof will keep this stall area 20% cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof that you see on most manufacturers. So one, we've got the ability to, to not have as much hail damage. I will, look, I'm not gonna tell you there's no hail out there that won't damage these, there is. But most of your hail is just gonna bounce off these. I mean, we've been through a hail storm in May. Every aluminum trailer we had on, on the lot with an aluminum sheeted roof had damage, our Cimarron's did not. So we had you know, a couple generator boxes on some LQs and um, an aluminum sheet on top of pods get some dings in it. But for that, the roof itself, it didn't do anything. So again, everything else had that damage. But again, keeping this stall area a lot cooler. Then if you look at the floor, instead of rubber mats, <coughs> she opted for worm flooring. So it's a uh, permanent, unpenetrable rubber matting. You don't have to wrestle mats. I always say they're like wrestling an alligator. Because of these side loads, it's a little bit more difficult. It's not straight in and out of the trailer. But in this instance here, she doesn't have to worry about it. She can muck out solids and, and just power wash it out. So really cool from that standpoint. Again, it's gonna protect that floor underneath there. Speaking of, we're standing on the industry's best floor. So it's a 12 inch deck piece that locks in high and low, like tongue and groove, but there's four inch centers that run across this. So wherever she's gonna have a horse standing on this floor, they are standing on a support beam. You wanna tell the quality of an all aluminum trailer, look at the floor and that will tell you everything you need to know. As you can see, it's pretty easy to just, all this functions, gets where it needs to go. Everything goes in place, get your butt bars in place. Then you can shut up your rear doors. In this instance here, our right hand door is gonna shut first. And then our left hand door, so they will overlap. And the reason why is just because it's a big opening going in the stall area, we wanna protect them. And the reason why this one overlaps this one is because naturally air is flowing down the trailer you know, we don't want them flipped the other way just in case something doesn't get um, shut correctly. <clears throat> this is a big ramp, but Cimarron uses big heavy duty springs. So once it gets up there, it actually wants to go towards the trailer. Just put your latches over it, same thing, same keys as everything else. So we can lock those up if we need and it's up out of the way. But that's a nice big opening for the horses getting in and out. Again, light coverage over it, couple 16 inch awning lights you have there. Um, but again, a very unique setup and, and this is a cool custom trailer. That's why we wanted to video it. We'll get some pictures of it to keep on hand because uh, we know we'll have some, some customers wanting uh, to see something similar to this. I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. Again, it's sold, but you can call in and reference it, five in. 230-828. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star 5 horse. Uh, really cool setup. So, again, the customization, we can help you build whatever you'd like. We have a lot of cool trailers on the lot or on order. Um, so give us a call. We do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, we can help you out. Financing's available and delivery. So that number is 303-684-3400. 
We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.